If the internet is not working in your Windows PC and if you think everything related to networking is properly configured in your PC, then the command netsh winsock reset and netsh intip reset might save your day. Furthermore, this command will also help you fix the Windows socket registry entries required for network connectivity. If you already know about the NetSH Winsock Reset and NetSH INTIP Reset command but still wonder what they actually do, then this video will help you to understand it. So stay tuned, I will show you how to fix internet or network issues on your Windows PC by running these commands. So what is Winsock? Winsock, Windows Sockets, is an API. And it defines how applications in Windows can access network services such as TCP IP. Basically, Windows stores information related to Winsock in a database known as the Windows Catalog. When this catalog becomes corrupt, you'll start seeing weird network or internet connectivity problems. Now the following registry key which you see in the screenshot holds the information about the Winsock catalog. It's in H key local machine system current control set services Winsock 2 parameters protocol catalog 9. This registry key holds Winsock parameters in binary format which is difficult to understand. But when you run the netsh winsock reset command, the existing registry key protocol catalog 9 is saved to a new registry key, which is protocol catalog before reset. And the new registry key protocol catalog 9 will be created with the default parameters. So the full path to backup this key is h key local machine system current control set services winsock2 parameters protocol catalog before reset so why a winsock reset is required before actually resetting the winsock catalog let's understand why would you need to do it the winsock catalog could become corrupt for various reasons such as malware or adware infection, a virus, malware or adware infections on your PC can corrupt the Winsock catalog. Incorrect network device installation or removal. So when you install or remove a network device or VPN software incorrectly, it could lead to a corrupt Winsock catalog. Registry cleaning or optimization utility. Sometimes a registry cleaner or optimization tool can mess up the registry, which in turn could cause the Winsock catalog to become corrupt. There may be other reasons in addition to these. No matter how the Winsock catalog becomes corrupt, you need to reset it to fix the issue. Now that you understand the Winsock catalog and its importance to Windows, let me show you how to reset the Winsock. I'm going to launch an elevated command prompt. You can run these commands from the command prompt as well as PowerShell, but I'll type PowerShell here. Now, if you want to view the Winsock parameters, use the following command net sh Winsock show catalog. You can see various parameters for different network adapters on your PC. This information may not make sense when you read them, but if you would like to save this output in a text file, you can run the command net sh winsock show catalog greater than symbol c drive winsock before dot txt. So the Winsock catalog information will be now saved to this text file, which is Winsock before.txt, which is in my C drive. Now you can use the command net sh Winsock reset to reset the Winsock. So I'm going to press enter. That's it. You need to restart the computer to complete the process. So to restart the computer, I'll type restart hyphen computer and press enter. 
Now, when the PC reboots, your network problem should go away. But if you still experience the same problem, launch an elevated command prompt or PowerShell. I'm going to open up PowerShell and run as administrator. Click yes. Now, before you perform TCP IP reset, you must know that it is going to remove the entire TCP IP configuration from your network adapter. So if you have configured IP address, gateway and DNS settings manually, then you might want to save the IP configuration in a text file. To do that, type net sh int ip show config greater than symbol c drive net config dot txt. Press enter. Now if you open the file, you can see my computer's network adapter has been assigned with a DHCP address automatically. So it saves the current IP configuration for all network adapters to this text file using the netsh command. So you can refer to this file later to manually configure the network adapters after you do a TCP IP reset. I'm going to close this I'm back in PowerShell. To reset the TCP IP protocol stack on your PC, type netsh int ip reset. Press enter. This command will override two registry keys. So expand hkey local machine, system, current control set, services, TCP IP parameters, and also HKey local machine, system, current control set, services, DHCP parameters. So these two registry keys are used by the TCP IP protocol stack. So this one is used if your network adapter has been assigned with a DHCP IP address and TCP IP registry key is used if your network adapter has been assigned with a manual IP address. So running the netsh int ip reset command is essentially equivalent to removing and reinstalling the TCP IP stack. All right, let me close this out. After you run the netsh int ip reset command, you must restart the computer. So I'm going to type restart hyphen computer. And once your computer is back online, you might need to reconfigure the TCP IP settings for your network adapters. So the text file that contains the TCP IP configuration settings comes in handy here if you don't remember the IP configuration settings. But if you use a DHCP server, your PC will automatically obtain the dynamic IP configuration. If it still doesn't get the IP, go to command prompt and type IP config forward slash renew command. All right, I hope this video helps you to fix the network or internet connectivity problems that are caused by a corrupt Winsock catalog or a broken TCP IP protocol stack. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.